President Donald Trump is back inside Walter Reed Medical Center tonight after stepping out and driving past his supporters who are rallying in front of the hospital this afternoon. The move follows news from the White House physician that the president's blood oxygen level dropped to concerning levels twice in recent days. Skylar Henry has the latest. Wearing a mask, President Trump drove past supporters gathered in front of Walter Reed Medical Center. I'm not telling anybody but you. He teased the surprise visit on Twitter and suggested he's learned a lot about COVID-19. I learned it by really going to school. This is the real school. This isn't the let's read the book school. And I get it and I understand it. But one attending physician from Walter Reed criticized the president's outing on Twitter, saying everyone who was in the SUV with the president was exposed will have to quarantine and could get sick. Sunday, White House physician John Conley reported the president's condition is improving and he could go home as early as Monday. But he also said President Trump's oxygen levels dipped to concerning levels both Friday and Saturday, leading doctors to begin treating the president with dexamethasone, a steroid shown to improve outcomes for patients with severe cases of COVID-19. Reporters questioned Dr. Conley, who painted a rosy picture of the president's condition Saturday. I was trying to reflect the, the, uh, the upbeat attitude that the team, the president, that his course of illness has had. Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer called on the president to be fully transparent about his health as a matter of national security. When it comes to something as vital as this, the health of the president, the health of the people around him, we need to know the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Just hours before President Trump tested positive, he attended a campaign fundraiser at his golf course in New Jersey. State officials have contacted more than 200 people who were there as they try to contain the spread. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. As for the president's campaign rival, Joe Biden, today brought about another negative COVID-19 test. It's now been five days since the presidential debate where Biden spent more than 90 minutes on stage with President Trump. The Democratic presidential candidate also tested negative twice on Friday.